It's morning and Peppa has just woken up in her bedroom. Good morning, bright and shiny sun. Good morning, George. <coughs> Good morning, Teddy. Hmm. I'm sure Teddy was right here. Uh-oh! Maybe she's downstairs. Good morning, Peppa. Good morning, George. Mummy, have you seen Teddy anywhere? She wasn't there when I woke up this morning. Hmm, I'm sure she's here somewhere, Peppa. Peppa has an idea. I know. Maybe George and I can be detectives. Now we are ready to solve the mystery of the missing Teddy. Well, don't you look clever? Now, if I were a detective, I would look for Teddy's footprints. Look! Teddy prints! This way! Maybe she's in here. Ooh. Any sign of Teddy, George? No! Someone is at the door. Ooh, I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Teddy. It's Susie Sheep and Mummy Sheep. Oh, hello Susie. Hello Peppa. Hello George. I like your hats. We are being detectives. Do you want to play? Ooh, yes please. What mystery are we trying to solve, Peppa? We are trying to find Teddy. She has gone missing, but we are following her Teddy prints. Where could she be? Could she be in here? She's not in here either. Maybe Teddy is hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I give up. Teddy is lost forever. Peppa, George, Susie, come quick. Mummy Pig has found more Teddy prints. Ooh, these prints are leading outside, Peppa. Hmm. Look, they are heading toward our little red car. you are, Teddy. What are you doing in here? That was silly of you to stay in the car, Teddy. The case of the missing Teddy is officially solved. Hooray! 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 Well done, detectives. I bet you have worked up an appetite following all of those clues. How about a snack? Ooh, yes, please. <laughs> It's a lovely morning and Peppa and her friends are at a playgroup. Good morning, children. Uh -huh. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Ah, that's lovely. Now, I hope you have all done your homework. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excellent. What have each of you decided to do for our playgroup talent show? I will be singing a song. <coughs> me, 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 me. I will be doing a dance. I will be making everyone laugh with my funny jokes. Ooh, I do love to laugh, Emily. And what about you, Danny? I will be doing some magic tricks, like this. Abracadabra, ziggity zat, on the top of my head is now a hat. Ah. And my talent will be jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> All of the children are very talented. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go to the theatre so we can get lots of practice before the big show. Hooray! Ooh. <laughs> this is so exciting. I have never been on a real stage before. Me neither. 
Look at all the space I will have to sing my song. And look at all the different places I can sing. There are even sound effects for my magic tricks. Oh dear, it looks like Rebecca Rabbit is feeling a bit nervous. Are you all right, Rebecca? Oh, uh, well, I didn't know the stage would be so big. Don't worry, Rebecca. Today is going to be the best day ever. I'm not so sure. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yes. I can't wait to see all the lovely performances. And now it is time for the Playgroup Talent Show. Good afternoon to all of our family and friends. And welcome to the Playgroup Talent Show. We have quite the show for you. And we know you're going to enjoy it. Now please welcome Peppa Pig. Hooray! My talent is jumping in muddy puddles. Hooray! Hooray! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Hooray! Why did the duck cross the road? Why did the duck cross the road? The chicken had the day off. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra, prickly thorn, say goodbye to this unicorn. Oh! Oh no, it looks like Rebecca is feeling nervous. Come on, let's help her. Come on, Rebecca, you can do it. Well, that was very special, wasn't it? All of our children worked very hard, but the talent show trophy goes to Rebecca Rabbit. With a little help from her friends, she faced her fears and danced marvellously. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George are having a lovely time playing in the garden. My turn, George! That's a funny noise. I wonder what that rumbly sound is, George. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Hello, Daddy. That's not our little red car. You're right, Pepper. It's a camper van, and we are going to borrow it for a few days to go camping. Hooray! Pepper and George love camping. Quickly, go and get your bags all packed. And don't forget your bikes. Hooray! <laughs> Are we all ready? Yes! Yes! OK then, everybody in. Off we go! Stop! What is it, Pepper? Daddy, we forgot our bikes. Oh dear, we can't leave without those. Let's try that again, shall we? Phew! 
Surely we have everything now. Hooray! Daddy Pig, Ooh. Mummy Pig, Pepper and George have arrived at their campsite. Wow! I love the forest! Why don't you and George ride your bikes for a bit while Daddy Pig and I set up camp? Yay! Come on, George! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I like our campsite, Daddy Pig. Me too! Now, who is hungry? Me! Me! It is already time for dinner. Mummy, do you know any campfire songs? Hmm, I know this song. Bong bing boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bingly bongly boo. Bong bing boo, bing bong bing, bing bong bingly bongly boo. Campfire dinner is served. <laughs> Hooray! All right, you two. It's time for bed. Come on, George. <laughs> Mummy? Daddy? Yes, Pepper. Can we go camping every day? <laughs> Sweet dreams, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are in their little red car. They are playing I Spy. I spy something green. Grass! Yes! Clever, George! Yes! Well done, George! You got that one quickly! Your turn, Mummy! OK, I spy something big and blue! Oh, look! It's the sea! Daddy, you didn't tell us we were going to the beach! We wanted it to be a surprise! But the beach isn't the only surprise. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's camper van by the sea. Hooray! Bye, Pepper. Bye, George. Have fun. See you later. Bye. Bye. Come on, George. Let's go up to our room. Me first. Granny, Grandpa, look at us. Careful up there, you two. Beach! Beach! Wonderful idea, George. Let's go to the beach. Woo! Woo! Not too fast, Pepper and George. The sea isn't going anywhere. Pepper and George love to splash in the sea almost as much as they love splashing in muddy puddles. Oh, that looks like fun. Come on, Grandpa. Everyone loves the sea. Mmm. Grandpa Pig doesn't seem to be going into the sea. Aren't you coming in, Grandpa? Not now, Pepper. I went for my swim this morning. Big wave coming through. Hey, Grandad Dog, can't you see I don't have my suit on? Grandpa Pig, who comes to the beach without their swimsuit? Well, I might as well come in now. Hooray! 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 Mummy and Daddy Pig have returned. Now, Pepper, what was your favourite part of the day? Well, my favourite part was very funny. Go on, Pepper. They will like that story. <laughs> Grandad Dog soaked Grandpa with a big wave while we were on the beach. Grandpa, wet! Yes, George, but Grandpa wasn't wearing a swimsuit. Oh, that does sound funny. I certainly did not see that giant wave coming. You're welcome. It's morning and Peppa is at her playgroup with all of her friends. Ayo! Yes, much better. Good morning, children. 
Good, Good morning, morning Madame, Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. Now, who can tell me what is so special about today? The, the carnival. carnival! That's correct. Ooh, voila! And right on time. All right, children, let's head outside. Here we go. Go on, have fun. Peppa and her friends don't know where to start. What should we do first, Susie? Um, the Ferris wheel? Yes! Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Let's do the carousel next, Susie. Emily, do you want to come on the carousel with us? Oh, yes, please. Any takers for the carousel? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. What should we do next? Grandpa Pig! Madame Gazelle said she needed a train driver for the fun fair, and you know I do love locomotives. Now, all aboard! Peppa must have had a very busy day at playgroup. <laughs> Looks like she isn't the only one. Today, Peppa and George are visiting the aquarium with Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. What's an aquarium, Mummy? An aquarium is a special place where lots of different kinds of fish live. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Have you come to visit the aquarium? Yes, we've come to look at the fishies. Wonderful. How many tickets would you like? We need four tickets, please. There you go. Have fun. Yippee! Thank you very much. <laughs> the aquarium is full of different types of fish. Wow! Look at all the fish! Yippee! Hey, where did they go? <coughs> Not so close, Pepper. You're a lot bigger than they are, and we don't want to scare them. There they are. Hello, fishies! I'm sorry that I scared you. Little fish hide in the rocks and plants to keep safe when they see a bigger fish coming. <laughs> but I'm not a fish. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Let's look in the next tank. Oh, here are some very funny looking fish. They're so beautiful. What are they? They're called jellyfish. Mmm, jelly! <laughs> They're not made of real jelly, George. <laughs> They're so wibbly wobbly. Shall we see what we can find in the next room? Yes, let's go! <laughs> in the next room, Pepper spots a very strange looking creature. Oh, what's that? That's an octopus. George is a little bit afraid of the octopus. Ooh. Don't worry, George. The octopus isn't going to hurt you. Look at how many legs it's got. Why don't you try and count them? OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, Pepper. 
Oh, look, Peppa. There's your friend, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Are you looking at all the fish in the aquarium too? Yes, but I think this tank is empty. No, Susie. Don't do that. You'll scare the fish. You were right, Peppa. Wow. That's a really big fish. Fishy! <laughs> The big fish splashed us! <laughs> what a naughty fish! Let's get you little fishies home and dry. Peppa and George love the aquarium. Everybody loves the aquarium. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa and George for a ride in a hot air balloon. Hello Peppa! Hello George! Hello Miss Rabbit! That's a very big balloon you've got there. Why, thank you, Peppa. But it's not just any balloon. It's a hot air balloon. Why doesn't it just float away? <laughs> well, we need to fill it with hot air first. Also, I've tied it to the ground just in case. Well, it all looks very exciting. Shall we go for a ride then? Yes, please. It's a very hot day. I think we should all wear our hats to help protect us from the sun. <laughs> Excellent! All aboard! It's a little bit cramped in here. Everybody ready? Here we go! Why isn't it going up, Miss Rabbit? I don't know. When I pull this handle, it usually makes the hot air balloon go up. I know, you forgot to untie the balloon from the ground. Oh yes, that's right. Don't worry, I'll untie it for you. There we go. Hurry, Daddy Pig. The hot air balloon is leaving without you. Wait for me. Here we go. Up, up and away. Careful, Peppa. It's a long way down. Everything looks so small from up here. I think I can see our car from up here. Wow. And look, there's our house. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I think it thinks you're a tree, Daddy. Its wings must be very tired to have flown all the way up here. Oh dear, where did my hat go? <laughs> Daddy, the little bird knocked your hat off your head. Oh dear, Daddy Pig's head isn't protected from the sun anymore. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. Your hat won't have gone far. Down we go. Hmm, I was sure your hat would be around here somewhere. There it is, your hat stuck in that tree. I'm not quite tall enough to reach it. Thank you, little bird. Thank you, Peppa. Thanks for taking us up in your hot air balloon, Miss Rabbit. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Peppa. Everyone had quite an adventure, didn't they? Yes. Especially Daddy's hat! <laughs> now, my little ones, I'm going to tell you a story. Mummy Pig is doing some work in her office. <laughs> Hello. Yes, thank you for your email. Sorry, but do you mind if I call you right back? I have an idea. Daddy Pig is doing some tidying. Why don't you help him? Cleaning? That doesn't sound very fun. 
See, sounds like he could use a little bit of help. Are you all right, Daddy Pig? Um, yes, I'm all right, but I could use a hand. <laughs> as soon as I've finished my work, I'll come and help too. Oh. Oh. Are you all right, Daddy? No, Pepper, is that you? Where are you? <laughs> Silly Daddy, we're right here. Have you come to help me clean? But cleaning is boring, Daddy. We can make anything fun, Peppa. Hmm, I'm not so sure. Wow, it's my mermaid doll. Daddy, I have an idea. Look, <laughs> Peppa is dressed as a mermaid. But where is George? <laughs> Come on, mermaids and lobsters. Let's pretend we're tidying under the sea. Hmm. Oh! Mm. <laughs> oh! Great idea. <laughs> Sounds like they're having fun. <gasps> oh, you have been busy. <laughs> Come and play with us, Mummy Mermaid. <laughs> now, my little ones, I'm going to tell you a story. Push me, George. Huh? Oh, swinging just isn't the same without Susie. Pepper is missing her friends. Peppa, it's for you. Oh, how exciting. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. I have really missed you. Me too, Peppa. Shall we play a game? Oh, yes, please. OK, guess what animal I am? A butterfly. Yes! <laughs> Your turn! <laughs> Peppa, you're a bunny! That's right, Susie, well done! Oh, look, I wonder who that is! Hi, Danny! Danny, you're upside down! That's because I am a monkey hanging from a tree! <laughs> Is this better? No, now you're sideways, Danny. Just like Super Potato. It's Super Danny. Oh. <laughs> Hello, who's there? It's me, Candy. Candy, we can't see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it was a video. <laughs> That's a bit too close now, Candy. Oh, sorry. There. Oh, I'm so happy to see you all. Would you like to hear a joke? It's very funny. Oh, yes, please. OK, why did the banana go to the doctor? I don't know, Candy. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. <laughs> Peppa, time for lunch. You can see your friends again tomorrow if you like. OK, Mummy. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow, Peppa. Bye, Danny. Bye, Candy. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Peppa. I'll have a new joke tomorrow. I can't wait, Candy. See you tomorrow. Peppa loves seeing her friends. Now, my little ones, I'm going to tell you a story. Peppa and her family are outside playing football. <sighs> oh, Mummy, the garden is looking a bit messy. 
You're right, Pepper. Grandpa Pig usually helps me with our garden, doesn't he? <sighs> yes, and he can't visit us right now and help us like he used to because we all need to stay home for a little while. I miss Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig too. There, there, George. We will see them again very soon. I have an idea. Come on, everyone. Let's go inside. Why don't you two write letters to Grandpa and Granny Pig? What a good idea. Peppa and George can have Granny and Grandpa as their pen pals. What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a friend that you write letters to and then they write letters back to you. Does that mean I will get my very own post? Yes, Peppa. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> Dear Granny and Grandpa, I miss you very much. Hope to see you soon. Love, Peppa. P.S. Our garden is very messy without your help. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Pepper and George. Now we have to take our letters to the post box. <laughs> Now all we have to do is wait. Right, Daddy? That's right, Pepper. I'm sure Granny and Grandpa will write back straight away. Ooh! Pepper, George, you have post. It looks like it's from your pen pals, Granny and Grandpa Pig. Yay! Hooray! Read it, Mummy, read it. Dear Pepper and George, thank you for your lovely letters. We miss you very much too, but it won't be too long until we are together again. Be sure to remind Mummy to water the plants. Lots of love, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> the post is here! There's no post today. Oh, surprise! Granny, Grandpa, I thought I would just get a letter from you, but it's actually you. I told you we would see each other again soon, Pepper. We loved getting all your lovely letters. It made the time go so much quicker. We were great pen pals. We certainly were. Now let me see that overgrown garden. I'm sure I have my work cut out for me. You definitely do, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> now, my little ones, I'm going to tell you a story. I'll get it. OK, George, now throw the airplane as far as you can. <laughs> Pepper, George, something came in the post for you. Grandpa Pig has sent Pepper and George some sunflower seeds and a letter. What does the letter say, Mummy? It says, Dear Pepper and George, Here are some sunflower seeds to grow in your garden. Plant these in your vegetable patch and I will plant some in mine. Let's see who can grow the tallest sunflower. Love, Grandpa Pig. That sounds fun. I am going to grow a sunflower as tall as Daddy. Come on, George. Sunflower win. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. Look, George, it's growing. Oh, yes. You're going to make a lovely sunflower. Look, 
George, our sunflowers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> George, you're supposed to water the sunflowers, not me. These are coming along quite nicely. Peppa and George's sunflowers have grown very tall indeed. Oh, Peppa and George, these sunflowers are beautiful. Let's take a picture to send to Grandpa Pig. Wonderful. Now let's wash our hands before we go inside. <laughs> Did you hear that, Granny Pig? I think it's your phone, Grandpa Pig. Oh, it's a picture of Pepper and George's sunflowers. Come look, Grandpa Pig. Splendid. Pepper and George's sunflowers are much taller than mine. Let's send them a picture so they know they have won. There. Perfect. It's for you, Pepper and George, from Grandpa Pig. He says, well done, Pepper and George. You've grown the tallest sunflowers. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George are having lots of fun drawing Christmas pictures for Santa Claus. What are you two up to? We're making some Christmas drawings to give to Santa. I'm drawing a snowflake and George is drawing a Christmas tree. Well, they look lovely. I'm sure Santa will be very pleased with them. There, all finished. Come on George, let's go and show Daddy our Christmas drawings. Daddy Pig is busy wrapping up a Christmas present for Mummy Pig. Daddy, look what George and I drew for Santa. Oh, it's just you two. I thought for a second you were Mummy. What are you doing? I'm wrapping Mummy's Christmas present. It's a surprise, so I don't want her to see what it is. Can we give Mummy a present too? Of course you can, but we'll have to go shopping first. How about we go to the Christmas market? Oh yes please! I bet we'll find Mummy the perfect present there! Here we are! Wow! Look at that tree! It's almost as big as our house! And what big presents! I wonder what could be inside. I bet it's a helicopter. Dinosaur! <coughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Hello, Madam Gazelle. What are you singing? We're carol singing. Want to try? I would love to, but George and I need to find a special Christmas present for Mummy. Why don't you try the Christmas pudding stall? My mum loves Christmas pudding. That's a very good idea, Candy. Come on, George. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Would you like to try some of my famous Christmas pudding? Yes, please. I love Christmas pudding. Here you go. Yum yum. It's so delicious. I'm glad you like it. Daddy, do you think this would be a good present for Mummy? I think it would be a lovely present, but it's not that easy to wrap a pudding. Why don't we try over there? I think I saw some fluffy slippers that Mummy would like. Great idea. These slippers are so soft and fluffy. Mummy's feet are going to be so warm. Daddy Pig helps Pepper and George wrap the slippers for Mummy. George has the very important job of putting the colourful ribbon on top. Now we can put Mummy's surprise presents under the tree. There! Now Mummy has two surprises to open on Christmas Day. Today, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George to a special market so they can choose a Christmas tree. Look at all the Christmas trees! 
There certainly are a lot to choose from. Can we get a really, really big one? Of course we can, Pepper. What about this one? It's a very nice tree, but it's just not quite big enough. What about this one, Pepper? Hmm, that one's not big enough either. Oh, look, there's Miss Rabbit. Maybe she can help us. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We're looking for a really big Christmas tree. Can you help us? Hmm, I think I know just the tree for you. This is the biggest tree in the whole market. It's perfect. We'll take it. I hope it will fit in our living room. Be careful, Daddy Pig. It looks very heavy. Oh no, it's stuck. Come on, everybody. One, two, three, push. Great job, everyone. What a beautiful Christmas tree. Are you ready to decorate it now? Oh, yes! What shall we start with? I think we should start with the tinsel because it's sparkly and shiny and it matches my dress. That's a great idea. Careful, Peppa. You're turning Daddy Pig into a Christmas tree too. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. That's all right, Peppa. Let's hang the rest of the decorations together. Peppa and George help Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig decorate the rest of the tree. They hang some colourful baubles and some more shiny sparkly tinsel and some flashing fairy lights. There. We're all finished. Well done, everybody. It looks amazing, but I can't help but feel that something is missing. <laughs> That's right, George. There's no star on the top of the tree. It's not in the decorations box. I wonder where it could have gone. We can't have a Christmas tree without a star on top. <laughs> George, where are you going? What a wonderful idea, George. We can put your dinosaur on the top of the Christmas tree instead. Rawr! I think that this is the best Christmas tree we've ever had. The T-Rex came, scaring everyone! Rawr! <laughs> yeah! Dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy! Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels! <laughs> That's right, it's called a motorhome and we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure. Yeah! yeah! Wow! This looks like a very fun camping site. Shall we set up our motorhome? Yeah! yeah! Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Peppa. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motor home. Follow me. This is your bedroom. Okay, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. Ah, <laughs> well spotted, Peppa, but we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed, so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. I love our motorhome. It's magic. 
magical. <laughs> it is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he... Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> okay, George, how about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur! I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing. Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me. You're right, Peppa. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly Daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? Was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So. Oh, my goodness. Mummy, are we nearly at the petting farm? I can't wait to meet the guinea pigs. Yes, Peppa. Grandpa Pig should be waiting for us outside. But remember, we are going to help Grandpa Pig get the farm ready for the animals first. That's right. Peppa, let's help carry this bag of seeds for the animals' breakfast. Yes, let's go. <laughs> this sure is a heavy breakfast. Oh, ho! thank you for your help bringing the animals food here, everybody. However, the truth is, the heavy rain last night has made the petting farm very muddy. A little too muddy. Where are all of the animals? They cannot come out until the farm has been cleaned, Rebecca. Otherwise, they will get too muddy for petting. Oh, no! How can we help, Grandpa? Well, I'll show you, but it'll be very messy. <laughs> Whoa! 
work, everyone. Thank you. But, Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr Pig? Ho, ho, we should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. Oh no, the guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Pepper, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Pepper? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere! We can use this! <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help. The animals are very happy with our work. Now, who would like to feed Mr. Guinea Pig and Mrs. Chicken? Me! Me! Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, -ho! you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen! Well, Pepper, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? The motorhome isn't a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. Phew! This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> That sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure that I heard Pepper's oink over here. <laughs> that was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. <laughs> 
they're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. <laughs> that was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Pepper, one for me, and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious. Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious. Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we made cookies. One for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Paddle! No, George! <gasps> oh, dear. Now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are very excited because tonight they are putting on a special music concert for their family. Tonight's the big night. I can't wait to see you and George play your instruments for everyone. How many people are going to be watching? Well, there's Mummy, Grandma and Grandpa and your teacher, Madam Gazelle. Daddy, that sounds like a lot of people. What if I make a mistake and everyone laughs at me? No one's going to laugh at you, Pepper. And besides, you've been practicing really hard. I know, but I don't think I'm ready. Well, why don't we have a dress rehearsal? What's a dress rehearsal? We can pretend we're doing the concert for real, so that when tonight comes, it won't feel so scary. That might work! Everybody ready? Drum, 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 drum! Ready! OK, let's go! Three, two, one... Very good. I'm sure you'll get a big round of applause at the end. Now we can make the room look like a real concert hall. First, we'll need somewhere for people to sit so they can see you playing. Hmm, how about the sofa? Yes, that'll do nicely. Let's move it in front of the stage. Bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy! <laughs> Come on, George. I can't move the sofa with you bouncing on it. <laughs> Goodness, it's very heavy. A little to the left. A little to the right. A little more. There, perfect. Phew. Now, we'll need some light so people can see you properly. Hmm. Maybe we can use some lamps. That'll look very nice. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa. You look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. Oh. Mm. 
Oh, this is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody, put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Pepper and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready! Okay. One, two, three. Hey, what happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Peppa and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. This feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. 